G'day, Ian here again. Just a quick uh, tip on how to um, attach and tighten your terminals on your 50 amp hour 12 volt uh, lithium battery that powers your trolling motor and whatnot. So as you can see, I've just got the, uh, the positive terminal here. Uh, what you will come with now is we've actually uh, paired that up nicely with a spring washer, stainless steel. Then you've got your terminal, which is which you attach to your cable and crimp yourself. And then at the end, it will be your the actual nut, uh, which you tighten by hand. So we're in a very tight space because the camera is just sitting there. Now, as you, as you notice straight off, because of the spring washer, only one point of contact is on the um, where the spring washer is. So this is going to be always sort of wobbling, well, pivoting on one point. So the secret of it is, is to tighten it tight. So you put your, you line up the position where you want the finishing, let's, let's, let's say uh, 90 degrees sticking out, and then you tighten it by hand as much as you can. And you, because like I said, I'm working in a very small space because the camera is right next to it. I don't have much room to move my hand, but you just tighten it as much as you can. And even though you tighten it as much as you can, you notice that it's still, see, that's not a good connection. Um, with high amperage uh, loads, where you've got a poor connection like this, that part is going to get very, very hot and you end up melting off the terminal, off the casing because uh, the actual terminal is molded in there so, but under normal use gear you can pull up to even you know, 60 amps through it with a good connection you go straight to the battery but without it, it's going to fail there it's going to basically burn out and melt the, the mold and you're going to have all sorts of problems so never run your battery with a loose connection so what do we do? get some plier and as you just tighten it down the spring washer will compress until it's perfectly flat. I'm just doing it very slowly because the camera's right next to it and not much room to move. So with that, there we go. She's tight. And if you look at it, see that? See how the spring washer is perfectly, where's the opening of the spring washer? Right there. See the split? Right on top. It's perfectly flat. And guess what? You can lift it, the whole three and a half kilo battery of the terminal and she ain't moving left, right, up or down. So that's how you get a perfect tight connection um, before you run your motor. So that means in all situations, this will never come off. Because the worst thing is when you've got your uh, cable terminated and somehow you tug it or you move it during during operation and this will come loose. Even just you know, a mil or two is already loose. Because these ones basically, you tighten it till it stops and then you basically just hit it the other way, like with this. This is to this is to undo it anti-clockwise, and it ain't moving. So we've we've included the spring washer in there for this very purpose, uh, so that you get a safe connection, which will never come undone, um, no matter what you do. So that's yeah, three and a half kilo battery being lifted by the terminals, and she's not pivoting or turning or coming loose. So, but without it she will come loose for sure. Let me show you this one. If you put it straight onto here, like so, and let's tighten it here. Let's get it really tight by hand. There we go. Or even if you just tighten it by, even with the tool, let's, uh, with the pliers, let's go. There we go, she's in. And watch this. There we go, she's loose. See, as soon as you apply pressure in the anti-clockwise uh, direction, this will come loose. Not so with the spring washer that we've, we've included. So let's, uh, let's hope this has helped and understand. And of course, put a spring washer first, this, then the nut, okay? So the spring washer first, the terminal, then the nut.